Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. You will notice something different instantly. We are switched. <laughs> Sherry's in my seat, I'm in her seat because this video is primarily gonna feature this lovely lady because today, Sherry, what are we doing? We are going to, I'm gonna walk you through how to make a pair of ears. A pair of Christmas, Christmas themed Disney ears. ears. You yeah. guys know, this is one of Sherry's strong points. <laughs> Sherry Lake Creations has sold lots and lots of Disney ears over the last few years. Not this last year because of health and life stuff. Correct. Um, however, our friend Auburn actually had this idea for this video. Mm -hmm. um, that what if Sherry showed how to make a pair of ears. Now, Sherry, yeah. when you make your ears currently, Mm -hmm. You have lots of fancy stuff. You got your cricket. You got lots of gadgets and gizzos. Tools. Yep, gizzos. Gizzos. <laughs> it's it's like gizmos. It's just a little <laughs> bit just a little bit different. All right. But the idea behind I do have all of the things. Right. But the idea behind this video is not that. Right. So uh, what we were thinking is walking you through how to make a pair of ears without all of the fancy stuff, without mm -hmm. the cricket, without all the fun tools. Um, really, this is, I mean, we, we went to Michael's and we bought stuff and then I made stuff. Yeah, so this is not like a pair of Sherry's fancy ears that exists. Right. This is a, anybody can do this with like one trip to a craft store, one trip to a party store, um, and we're going to show you the entire thing, but Sherry. Yes, and you're going to need basic tools like scissors, but like really, that was kind of it. Do you want to show them the finished pair of ears so they can see what they are going to watch be made today. Yes, so and I did make this pair of ears last night. Can I brag on you for a second? Oh no. The fact that you, so I've gotten to watch this whole process. Yeah, which you've from, never really done before. No, from like walking into Michael's being like, I don't know what I'm gonna make, let's see what they have, <laughs> to this, one of my favorite pairs of ears you've ever made. Really? <laughs> I love them so much. You got to see the process and it's it's a process. I mean, it's I think it's a, is it harder than you thought? I don't know that it's harder than I thought. Um it's what was more, more than you thought? What was so cool about these pair because this to me was very different. Yeah. Most of the times you go to Michaels with a design in your head. I'm looking for supplies for this idea. Yeah, that's true. This time you went into Michaels like I don't know what I'm going to make. Let's see what they have. I knew I wanted something Christmas themed. And so these are the ears you're gonna see Sherry make today. And I- You wanna see them? Yes, you have to show them. You guys, let me show you what we got here. Sherry? Yeah. These <laughs> are freaking adorable. Little gingerbread men. So you guys, in today's video, <laughs> You are going to not only watch Sherry make these, yeah. you are going to learn how easy it is to make a pair of ears similar to this or just like this for yourself. Right. All right, so Sherry, yeah. here is the process. Here's how we got to this point in time. Yeah. Uh, Auburn kind of gave you the idea of the video. Mm -hmm. You and I discussed it. Um, and then the idea again was not really to use supplies you already had, but mm -hmm. to create something from scratch. Right. So one of the first steps to creating something from scratch was? Going to Michael's. So that's exactly what we did. <laughs> Went to Michael's and that's where I got to see the creative genius start to come out. <laughs> All right, here we are at Michael's. Okay, so we're inside. What you're looking for is ribbons or fabrics or ornaments or something that you like that would go on ears. So the ears that I make, this is this would be too big. Okay. Um, if you wanted them to be that big, you could do that. Uh -huh. The ones that I use are four inches across. Like each one of the circles, each one of the ears. Yep. So I don't want anything really much bigger than four inches. So something like that, it would like stick over the edges. Yeah. So it would look a little bit funny. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, so we are in the ribbon section. This is normally kind of the place that we always start because this is where like the bows are made. Yes. However, you guys, we have never seen it like this. It's, it's, in, it's crazy, there's like nothing here. It's like nothing really here. So, so Sherry, when looking for bows for yes. ears, what are we looking for? I personally don't want my bow to be anything less than this. Okay. This is even pretty small. So I, and this is, one and three quarter inches. I usually go for the two or two and a half inches. Okay. Because I, that, I just like my bows that big. But sure. you can pick whatever kind of ribbon you want. I just personally feel like anything smaller than that is just gonna kind of get lost. 
So are we looking for one ribbons, two ribbons? Is there like a bigger ribbon or a smaller ribbon? What are we looking for? You can do that. I've done that okay. where I just layer them. Um, usually I'll just do one. So I would pick this size. This is two and a half inches. Yep. So I would get something that big just because I like the bow that size. Got it. Cherry. Okay. It seems like an idea is coming together for you. An idea is for me. Let's hear it. I'm thinking I'm going to make gingerbread themed ears. Okay. So I have this that's kind of a texture, yeah, which I, I like. That. And this, which would be sort of like a frosting. So I'm going to do the double bow. Okay. Yep. That's all I have so far. But one of the things I love about that is that because we don't have like our normal selection of ribbon, mm -hmm. you're having to think outside the box. You're uh, like, yes. okay, what can I make with what's available? What can I make with what's available? And some of that is like kind of the purpose of this video. <laughs> All right. Right? You know what I mean? Like this is about making something out of what you have. Sherry's sure looking at stuff down here. <gasps> you could like puffy paint some ears. Yes, you could. Oh, that's a fun idea. And what I'm wondering if I want to do... For your gingerbread man? Gingerbread man. <gasps> okay. I kind of love this idea. A puffy paint gingerbread man with that bow. So cute. So Sherry just found these puffy stickers that are like gingerbread themed. Look how cute. That will match kind of her gingerbread theme of the ears. Yes, I think so. So you're gonna get those as well? Yes. Cool. Sherry just found the last thing she needs for her ears. Yep. Sherry, you got some yarn there. I did. And we're gonna talk about why you got yarn when we get back home. Yes. So that's everything we need. Let's pay, let's head home. Okay. So that was our trip to Michael's. I'm gonna show you everything I ended up buying. Um, I don't think I showed everything in the video, but I'm gonna start with the pair of blank ears. Um, I did not buy these at Michael's. I buy these online. We'll actually leave a link below, um, but I originally found these at like one of the party craft stores mm -hmm. that we have here in town. So if, they're, if you have like a party supply store, they might have something like this. Yep just a blank pair of ears. Um, and that's really how I started. I just, I found these cheaper on Amazon and so uh, ended up buying them more there, but that's, I really just started at the party supply store. So these are ears, because we didn't buy these because you have a lot of them. Right. So this is what you're starting with, but everything else that's going on the ear, like the design and all that was picked up in the trip to Michael's. Yes. So let's show them all the things you bought. Okay. All right, Sherry Beth. Yeah. Walk us through what we got. Okay. So for the base mm -hmm. of the ears, I have this. It's just foam, but it's sparkly on one side. Um, they Some of the foam pieces that Michaels has has just this backing. Some of them have like an adhesive back, so they have paper. Um, you can get either one. I liked the color of this one, and it did not have the adhesive back, so we're just going to glue it on. But this is going to be the background to the ears. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about these for a second. This is also foam. I did not actually buy these on this trip to Michael's. Mm -hmm. I had them. Um, it's about a quarter inch thick and I cut them into little squares and I use them for my bow because uh, I do not sew. And so yeah. I had figured out. So let's talk, let's talk about that for a second because the bow is a big part of most ears. Yes. But you've had to figure out something that like works for you because you don't tradition, you don't do it like a lot of people do. No, I don't. I don't know how to sew. And I have watched all of the YouTube videos <laughs> about how to sew your own bow and I don't sew. And so it, it's just, it's really hard for me to make ears. And so I figured out my own uh, method of making a bow I for think my ears. I think that's really helpful though, because sometimes like you might not do something the same way everybody else does, right? but find the way that works for you. Which is what I did. So I have these mm -hmm. and I cut them into these little squares like this. They're just, you know, little yeah. half inch, probably squares. Um, and I will show you how I use those for the bow. You're going to show us how to make your bow. I'm going to show you how I make a bow. Perfect. Okay. All right. Next we have, these are 3D fabric paints, kind of like puff paint. Um, we got it in a whole pack and I only need these three colors. So I just pulled those out. I also have this super glue. This glue, <laughs> we have tried every glue on the planet. Not even an exaggeration. Not an exaggeration. It's, it's ridiculous how many types of glue we have tried. This is the only one that actually sticks. Yeah. I have tried fabric glues, I've tried epoxy, I've tried cement, I've tried everything. Like this is the only thing that actually keeps my ears together. Yeah. And it's specifically the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. I will say, 
not sponsored, but if they called, we would be sponsored by them in a second because we, we so believe in this product. Yes. We have spent, not even an exaggeration, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on that product right there. Absolutely. And I wish works. they made it in like a pump because yeah. that would be a really just so much easier. <laughs> this is like the biggest thing that they make them in. Annoying. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to ribbon. I do have, this is yarn. Um, that I used along the edging of the ears. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that when we get there. This is the ribbon for the bow. Um, I like to use the thicker ribbon. I think I talked about that in the video. I don't remember. Um, it, at Michael's. This is the two and a half inch. And then this is one and a half inches. And I actually am doubling this. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the gingerbread behind. I really liked the texture of this. And then kind of like a frosting with like the ruffles. I love that. And then this will be used for the centerpiece to tie the bow to the ears. Okay, and you're going to show us how to use all of this stuff. Yes. Okay. And then, last but not least, the embellishments. I saw this kind of as we were walking out, and I was like, that's adorable. And so I actually used this little piece here that looks just like this guy um, for, like, the center of the bow. So when you saw this, you weren't sure exactly how you were going to use it. I wasn't sure, but it was gingerbready, and it went with everything else that I got. And I thought, I bet I can use something on here. Perfect. So this really is all you're going to use yep. to make this amazing pair of ears. <laughs> all right, Sherry Beth. So step one, how do we start? Step one, we are going to start with the base. Okay. We're going to draw a circle. Love it. So since I did actually make that pair of ears yesterday, I'm going to use the sheet that I already started on. Mm -hmm. Not the full sheet that I just showed you. And this is a hack that I figured out fairly early on because what I was doing was tracing the ear and then kind of shrinking it a little bit and cutting. And it was just, you can do that. What I found is um, this size here, this is a different ribbon. It is exactly a four inch round. Which so, is what the ears are. Which is what the ears are. So I am going to actually just trace this. Then I'm gonna cut that out and that will fit the size of the ear. All right, so you got your four inch round. We've got our round. So it does actually fit on the ear. Mm -hmm. Now we do have this little bit here that kind of comes down below yeah. that you don't want. So what I do is I just make two little cuts along the ear mm -hmm. at an angle, like at the angle of the headband. Yep. And then I just eyeball it, but you can also use the same ribbon and kind of trace along the edge. Um, but you just want to cut it in a round. I like that. So now it'll fit around the ear. Look at that. Just Perfect. Like that. It's like you've done this a few times. A couple. Here's one of the things that I'm twice. here's one of the things I'm actually really enjoying about this is that this to me is kind of a throwback to the early Sherry Lake Creations days. Where I did it all by hand. Yeah, because your first <laughs> like first several Etsy launches, uh -huh. you didn't have a cricket. You were doing everything by hand with scissors and rulers mm -hmm. and pencils and like it was like it was insane. And so it was a lot, yeah. This feels a little bit like a throwback to the early days. Yeah. Very fun. All right. So we got that cut out. What do yes. we got next? So now we are going to do our little man. I did this one last night because it does take four hours to dry. For the puffy paint. For the puff paint. So you do need to kind of keep that in mind. So I did one last night so we can complete the ear mostly. Uh -huh. This is the little guy that I drew. I just hand drew it on copy paper. Um... And just sort of cut them out as a stencil. Just cut it out as a stencil. Okay. Um, but I also hand drew it on paper first because this is permanent. Yeah. And once smart. you get it on there, it's on there forever. And so um, you kind of want to make sure you know the size and the shape and everything before. And I'm not great at just freehanding. So I did this on paper and then I just, I'm just going to stencil it on. Okay. And then once you stencil it on, you will then basically go over that stencil with the puffy paint. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna show him. Um, oh yeah, there he is. You can see him there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see him. Perfect. But like really not enough to, like you'd have to be really, really close. Totally. To be able to see the line. And then we're just gonna... Uh, puff paint. Puff paint, just like it's the 90s <laughs> and you're making a shirt for school. You know what's funny is that I did have a lot of like flashbacks as I was doing this. I can't even tell you how many t-shirts and headbands and whatever <laughs> I made with puff paint. 
Um, I was like, oh, this is, is that this the is a throwback. Is that the next thing coming to Sherry Lake Creations <laughs> is a whole Lisa Frank inspired puff paint Ooh, collection? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so there you go. Then just trace out the gingerbread man. Yep. That's so cool. Body done. Now you're drawing in the, uh, the eyes. And this I'm just freehanding. I didn't draw this in. Sure. Because it's just going to be eyes and a little mouth. And then the last thing you have are like the little white, like the little, almost like the frosting hands and feet. Yep. And I just do kind of like. Little squiggles? Little squiggles. It's so cute. And then that's going to be the end of the white puff paint. Yes. Now we're going to go to the red and the green. Okay. And the way that I did it on the other pair of ears and it just because I thought it was really cute. So I'm going to do it again. On this one, I did a green bow and red buttons. Mm -hmm. So on this one, I'm going to do a red bow and green buttons. And kind of show them a little bit here. You can see what she's talking about. One side, red bow, green buttons. Other side, green bow, red buttons. Mm hmm. All right, so this guy's done, but he does need to dry probably said, overnight. Okay, you said for about like four hours. I said so. four hours, yep. So yeah. we're going to set him to the side, but I am going to use the dry one that I did last night. Bye, gingerbread man. <laughs> so that I can show you how to make the rest of the ear. Okay, what do we got next, Sherry Beth? All right, so now we are going to attach this mm -hmm. to the ear. Okay. And that's where this glue comes in. And for me, I just feel like it's so much easier to do the ear part and then the bow, like do the bow last, um, because the bow then kind of covers and it gets in the way and then you're, you know. Well, and speaking of that, I actually want to point something out that I think you do just instinctively um, that I'm just now noticing because when I first was watching Sherry make this last night, I thought to myself, um, Sherry, you messed up. The gingerbread man is not centered. Like he looks all like off, mm -hmm. but you always think about the fact that the bow. Right, I plan for the bow. Is going to come over. And so, like, just like that looks a little bit weird. But this is how it's going to look. Right, because if I had centered him. Exactly. Then most of them would be covered by the bow. So smart. See, I wouldn't even <laughs> think about that. So, when you're putting your design on your ear, it may not be centered. You have to take the bow into yep. consideration. Exactly. You're so smart. Thank you. This um, one might be almost gone. <laughs> I was saying, just so you guys know why Sherry was just beating the glitter thing, it's because the glue thing gets empty and she does that. I know, but like there's still glue in there. It's just, it kind of gets stuck. And that glue's not cheap. And so. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use every last little piece. So you just kind of go around to the outside. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to keep pounding. So I'm going to just get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just make a just a line around the outside. It's okay that it doesn't go all the way to the edge right? Um, because it's going to be glued on there. So yep. with the foam, I also, it's okay that's like, you know, around the edge, but I like to do just a little bit in the middle, just kind of a zigzag, just to hold it on there a little bit more. Makes sense. It's not heavy, but this you know. Was, what's one of the things that I appreciate about you with like the products and the ears you make is that you do like you Quality try to control. Yeah. Like honestly, yes. <laughs> I just don't want them falling apart. Like I don't want my own ears falling apart. I certainly don't want ears that somebody paid money for to be falling apart. So I do what I can to make them not fall apart. So that glued on. Ah. Now the ears are done. Well, maybe not yet. Once the other ear is dry, mm -hmm. you would just glue it on there. I would normally do both sides at the same time. Yep. Um, for the sake of this video and not waiting four hours, we mm -hmm. are going to just do the one side. I'm going to put the whole bow on yep. um, and then I'll just tuck the other one in. So, so what would be the next step that you would do now? So the next step is we're going to do the little candy cane around. The embellishment around the outside. Uh -huh. And Sherry, I'm a little proud about this because this actually kind of my idea yeah this started as your idea so you normally put around the outside in fact hold on i want to show them here are a couple other pairs of sherry's christmas ears that she has made for her shop and she always puts around the edge something either like a bead or like the white christmas kind of faux fur but the reason you do that sherry is well so there's this edge uh-huh that i'm just not in love with yep um i just don't like how that looks personally it just looks a little bit unfinished to me yep so i just like to put something around the edge that just makes it look a little more finished so with this like you just can't see the edge of the foam you just see 
the pretty beads. But we couldn't find any beads that you loved for this project. But we could not find any beads. And so I, so Adam actually was like, what have you used yarn? And I was like, ah, oh, that's a terrible idea. Like, that's not going to be very, like. It's true. You dismissed it very quickly. <laughs> Real quick. Uh, because I was like, it's just not going to be thick enough. But then I thought, oh, but what if I twist it? So smart. And do kind of a candy cane kind of thing. So I got three colors. I got red, green, and white. I'm just going to tie off the end. All right. Now, you've never done anything like this before on ears. I never have. So this is kind of a bit of a, like, learning experience. Yes. What do we got? So what we're going to do is, so I just tied off the end. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is actually, so part of the reason that I left a little bit of a gap is so that I can tuck this under. Oh. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put glue down there first. But before I actually do that, I'm going to figure out about how long I'm going to need it. Okay. And this is just an estimation because it will be twisted. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to go a little bit longer. Yeah. Maybe there. So you basically just like tucked one end up under the ear yep, there. Just and to kind of hold it in place, but it it's not glued in there yet. Got it. Okay. And then I'm because I'm gonna do both ears, mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually just Oh do that times two. Do that times two. So smart. Okay, so I did learn making my first pair of ears that this is kind of a pain in the butt kind of process. Mm -hmm. Um but it does turn out really cute. So I think it's worth it. All right, so I'm going to start with this edge. I'm going to put a big glob down there. Okay. I'm going to tuck this in. Mm-hmm. And now that is glued in. Yes. And I'm starting on the outside for a specific reason. Okay. Because I can control a little bit more what this outside looks like. It doesn't really matter what the inside looks like because the bow is going to cover it. Oh, So smart. I want the nicer edge to be on this outside because that's what you'll see. So smart, Sherry. Yeah. And okay, so for this, because it is sort of a pain, I'm gonna have to do this in little increments. And so you just put like a bead of glue yep. along so a little section. Put a little line. And then you should do a little a little braid, a little twisty. A little twisty. And I am intentionally kind of keeping it loose. I don't I could pull it real tight, but I, I kind of want the looser yep. bigger so that it does cover the edge of that. And I've learned that I actually have a very important role during this. You do. You need to hold the ears in place. I hold the ears in place, you guys. <laughs> yep. This is what I bring to the table. Camera skills, uh -huh. a heck of a beard, <laughs> and holding the ears in place. Yep. So I'm just going to do little sections at a time and kind of twist as I go. Originally, I tried to just like twist the whole thing and wrap it, and then it was just falling apart and it wasn't working. So little sections at a time. And that kind of just gives the glue time to hold. Yep. So that, yeah. So it actually stays in place. Totally. So Sherry, how's it going? Good. Um, yeah. You're doing a great job holding it in place. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it, it really does help to hold it in place because I'm kind of, you know, twisting it and tugging a little bit and just really wants to move, which is not helpful. Well, it was really funny earlier because I was out getting laundry started and, <laughs> and you were just like, like help. You're like, help. <laughs> and I came here, I was like, are you okay? You're like, I need an extra hand. <laughs> If I just had one more hand, this yep. would be so much easier. All right, Sherry Beth. Mm -hmm. So you got it twisted. Got it twisted. And then basically what you do is you kind of do the same thing at the other end as you did in the first end. Tuck it back under. Tuck it under the flap, put like a bunch of glue under there so it stays. Mm -hmm. And then that's what you got. It really does add just like a finishing touch to that yeah. ear. So obviously we're not going to do that to this side because remember, wait on this one to dry. Right. So, so now we're going to make the bow. Oh geez, you're going to share your super secret bow tricks. Yes. You're going to drop bows on them. <laughs> as ludicrous would have said back in the 90s. Okay, so we're going to start with the middle piece. Okay. And I have done enough of these to know that I'm going to need three and a quarter <laughs> inches. <laughs> so when you say middle piece, I'm just going to show them on the finish one. That's okay. Mm -hmm. What she's talking about is this piece that kind of comes right here through the middle and sort of cinches the bow. So this is the piece that she is cutting right now. And yep. it's three and a half inches. Three and a quarter. Oh, three, three and a quarter, and a quarter. inches. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is why it's Sherry Leg Creations, not Adam Leg Creations. Right. Sherry's has for a lighter, which is a confusing thing when mm -hmm. doing uh, Etsy project. Because the ribbon mm -hmm. wants to fray at the end. Okay. So what I do is I just heat it a little mm. bit. 
and then it doesn't fray. It kind of melts it a little bit. You can kind of actually see it like turning in. Interesting. But it doesn't fray. Clever. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna take this piece. We're going to attach it to the bottom of the headband. Okay, so spread some glue around. Spread some glue around. We're gonna attach this on, and this is kind of a weird ribbon. Usually I would just hold it with my hands, but as we found out last night, it wants to stick. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually use <laughs> the plastic of the glue container Smart. until it's kind of dried. And you want, so you'll notice that the ribbon is actually coming out of the back of the headband. Yes. And that's intentional. Yes, so you want the tail coming out the back because what we're gonna do is put the bow on it and wrap it around. And then the... And then the end, like the back piece is in the back, so you can't really see it. That's so smart. Yeah. You really have thought of everything. I have tried. It's a lot of trial and error. And this glue really doesn't take long to dry. It's just gonna take a minute or so, at least to dry enough that we can set this down. Okay. So I'm gonna set it down upside down so the tail is facing up. Mm-hmm. And just kind of let it finish drying. Okay. While I work on the rest of my bow. All right, so. You have, again, these two ribbons. We saw you get them at Michael's. Uh -huh. You talked about them earlier. The whole kind of idea behind them really is the gingerbread and frosting theme. Yes. Now, you don't have to have a double bow. Like, you don't have to have two things on the bow. Nope, you don't. And, and honestly, most of my ears do not have a double bow, but some of them do. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I like the look on some ears. And on this one, I just thought it'd be really cute to kind of have this ruffled ribbon. Totally. To kind of look like frosting. I agree. And you guys can see, like, it's... It is really cute. <laughs> and one of the things that I love, and I don't think this was intentional, this ribbon reminds me of like the frill on like a baking apron. Oh. You know what I mean? That's cute, yeah. And I so it's kind of just going for frosting, but that's true too. It actually kind of works both ways. Yes. Okay, so how do we know how long we want our bow to be, how much ribbon we need? Okay, so this is dry enough that I'm gonna just tilt this up, uh, right side up. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's how I measure my bow. Now, if you want a big bow, I like big bows and I cannot yeah. lie. You can kind of just figure out how big you want it. I actually want mine to be a little bit smaller because I do have these gingerbread men on the ears mm -hmm. that I don't want to completely cover. So I'm going to move it in a little bit. You just kind of want to center. So I'm going to just go right to the center of the ear yeah. and then kind of measure with my finger about where that would go. And then I'm going to make a crease. This is wired ribbon, so it will hold the crease. Is wired ribbon like the best for bows? Do you like using it for bows? I like it for bows because it does hold its shape better. That makes sense. The non-wired. This is, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Glue. <laughs> this is not wired. Um, and so it's, it's a little harder to work with. I like the wired because see, even like just not letting it. Totally. Or just letting it go, it's gonna hold its shape. So I know where that center or where that edge is. Yep. So now because I'm going to twist it in on itself to make that pu puffy bow, I am going to use that piece that I just uh, bent, and I'm gonna bend it straight over. So I have a double, uh -huh. and now I'm going to actually cut it a little bit past that. Okay, so you're not cutting it like right at the halfway point. You don't wanna point. cut it right at the halfway point because okay. we're gonna match up the edges here and make a new center. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is actually fold it over just a little bit past that so that the edges overlap. So I made a crease where the new center is, yeah. and I'm gonna fold this over just a little bit past that. Okay. So that will be my bow. Very cool. But because I'm doing a double bow, I'm gonna actually open this back up, and I'm going to measure this to be the same length. The exact same length? Yep. Okay. So we have this. I'm gonna put this on the inside or the outside. And now, because I still have that, because that wonderful wired ribbon still shows me the middle section, now I'm going to fold both ribbons in just a little bit past that. Uh -huh. I'm gonna crease this side just so it holds down. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the edge of this ribbon where this one goes. Oh, so it's going to hold that down. So it will kind of hold it in place. Got it. And then I'm going to fold this in. Whoop. Not hold it in place. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a second to dry. I know. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
With the glue too? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna glue here and here. And this is more just to sort of try to keep it in place while I'm doing the rest. Mm -hmm. um, if you were a sewer. If you were a sewer. You could like sew those ribbons together. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, got it. That's just not me. <laughs> not how I roll. Okay. All right, so on this overlapped piece, uh -huh. so just... you can see, yep, these are right my there. three layers. Totally. I am going to put a dot of glue that kind of goes over that line. Uh-huh, over the seam kind of. Over the seam. Yep. And this is where these little guys come in. Okay. I'm gonna place one right in the center here. Uh-huh. One right in the center here, and then I'm going to push down. Okay, so you kind of until have they like glue in place a little bit. Both of those little foam stoppers. <laughs> kind of, whoa, geez! <laughs> Camera's attacked. Right <laughs> oh no! Hang on, I need to make sure that. Add actually, a little bit more glue. A little more glue, because that's just not wanting to stick. Okay. So now. Now, I'm going to put a dot of glue, and this is my little bow hack. Mm-hmm. This is just what you figured out works for this you. This is what and gets I figured out look. works. So I'm going to fold this up right along the edge. Okay. Just fold it straight up. So these are standing. Yep. And then I'm going to squish and let that center come up between. Uh huh. And then I have my bow. Look at that. And it's okay that this is sort of sticking out because we're going to bring this around so we'll be able to flatten that with that center piece. Yeah, so the middle, like, does look a little, I don't want to say janky, but a little bit right now. <laughs> a but, little bit. It looks but, a little bit weird. But remember, this is going to be covered, just like Sherry said, with that middle piece. So you're not going to see that. Right. Very cool. Yeah, and I did put a little dot of glue in between there just, just for a it. little extra oomph. You're a little extra. Well, I'm a lot extra. You are a lot extra. So I'm going to clamp these. I just have this little yep. clamp. I'm just going to hold those in place. Smart. While I do the back. So um, I, this doesn't need to be very long. It's just going to need to go kind of. Cover the middle gap. Cover the middle gap. And this thing you're doing now, this is completely a, this is a Sherry preference. This is a me preference because I'm a type A personality and I don't like it. And I actually, full disclosure, I forgot to do it on this one. So we will show them the difference between. I will show you the difference. Yep. So I'm going to actually just fold this in half. Okay, so I got this cut in half and I'm using just the piece of the big part of the bow. Okay. And what I'm going to do... What do you mean the big part of the bow? So I have like the two pieces. I have the brown and the Oh, so you're the just smaller. using the piece of the brown. Just using the piece of the bigger part. Okay. So I'm going to unclamp that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the top. A little dot on the bottom. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to take this piece and push it over the edge. Oh, okay. Just like that. So it kind of covers up the back, like Got the it. foam pieces that I don't, I don't want. Seen. Seen. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to take this bow. Now we're attaching it to the headband. We're going to attach it to the headband. We're going to put a big old dot of glue right in the center there. We're going to take the bow, push it down into place, and then we're going to spread that open. And we're going to put more glue on the bottom here. Okay. And then we're going to pull this around. And it's just kind of going to... And it's just going to attach. And again, we're just going to use the glue bottle because the glue doesn't stick to the glue bottle. <laughs> and it does stick to my hands. Yep. And your shirt, as we saw earlier. <laughs> and my shirt. Okay. Interesting. Right and so that is how the bow, like, holds onto the ears. Yes, and then you can just sort of arrange the bow. Yep, now you are a big... See, now it's still sticking my hands. Yep, I heard. <laughs> I heard the skin tear. <laughs> the, I think we've all... The we, we've all been there when it's like, oh, my finger yeah, stuck. Absolutely. That's so funny. a little more glue on this side. All right, so it's kind of holding now. Mostly holding. So now we can kind of fluff the bow. Mm -hmm. And I just like to put my thumbs in the sides and pinch. And again, this is where wired ribbon does help. It really does because it gives it that kind of poof, yeah. which is what I want in my bow. Ain't nobody want a 
flat bow. You want a flat bow. Shh, gotta get a poofy bow. Correct. Um, and again, we'll just all poof this side because mm -hmm. why not? But I am going to go back once that other side is dry and actually attach it. Makes sense. But there you go. Look at so, that. So here's no. the back. Yep. And again, the glue is still drying. It won't look like that. Yep. But see how this is now just like a solid versus that. Okay, that is... See, it's those little details that, like, you care about that I love. Yeah. It it's... just This just looks a little more open. You can yep. see, like, the extra ribbon down there. Yep. This just doesn't. So cool. So that's what I do. And now... Now. Now we're going <laughs> to add in that one last little embellishment because it's just so darn cute. Just a little dot of glue on the back of the gingerbread man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to push this down, make it a nice flat spot. Uh-huh. And we're going to put him right in the center. So cute. Right there. I love that so much. You guys. Here we go. So there you go. So that is what it looks like. Completely finished. Completely finished. This is half finished. Again, Sherry will finish this once the, the other ear dries, mm -hmm. that puff paint dries. And it's, it's foam and it's puff paint and yarn and ribbon. Like you, this was one trip to Michael's. This was one trip to Michael's not knowing what I was going to do. And honestly, when I think we talked about this in the video at Michael's, there was like nothing on the shelves. I've never seen Michael's look oh, that empty. No. And so I kind of just thought like, oh, let's just go get, you know, Christmas ribbon and we'll just figure something out. It'll be easy. It'll be fun. And there was like nothing in the store. And yeah. so it was just like, Okay, what can we do with what they have? <laughs> there's like a, well, there was a little bit of panic. It's like, oh, geez, like, is there even anything like here? Right. And then I and then I saw this. Yep. I was gonna say once once you had the ribbon, mm -hmm. I could see the wheels start to turn. Like once you had like a vision of where it was going, you were gonna make it happen. I, I had a plan, and so really, it was this. It was this brown ribbon here. This kind of texture. I was like, oh, that kind of looks like gingerbread. That could be fun. And I was like, ooh, gingerbread. And so there we came. So for me, I thought this was really fun because I'm, I would say I'm around when you're doing a lot of your creative projects, mm -hmm. but it was cool to be with you through the whole creative project. And like seeing how my brain works. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's one of the things that was kind of a takeaway from this, that you don't even have to make these ears specifically. Um, you can kind of just see the elements mm -hmm. and you know, Generally, I want a bow. Generally, I want some kind of something for the ears themselves. I want some kind of edging to cover up whatever I put on the ears, um, that edging. And so just kind of having those ideas, you can kind of go in and, and make whatever you want. That's so cool. So you don't have to make these ears, right. but hopefully, I mean, the whole idea was that maybe this shows you that's like, oh, this is something you could do. You can do like, this. Like, you don't have to have a $300 cricket. You don't have to have a closet over there full of supplies. Correct. Like, this was... It's helpful, but it's not completely necessary. <laughs> that's true. And I do want to show, um, I literally grabbed this from the Google machine. Let me show you. I Googled a gingerbread man uh -huh. and, like, saved this picture. And that's what you used. And that's what I used to just freehand freehand this little guy. Like, that's it. Yeah. And so I didn't, like, I didn't do the curly cues because that's a lot. You know, I didn't do the scarf and the earmuffs and the everything. I just gave him little bow ties and buttons and called it a day. It's so cute, though. But I think they're so cute. They are so cute. And this actually works out really well. Because one of the things we're going to do on our Florida trip this next week um, is we're actually going to do a, the plan is to do like a resort day, resort hop. Mm -hmm. And when we were there doing that last year, they did not have the resort gingerbread houses. Right. They have them this year. And now Sherry has gingerbread ears yes, do. to wear when we go to our Magic Kingdom resorts. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it's so cool. I absolutely love, love, love how these ears turned out. They're so fun and they're so cute. And really one of the things that I love about these, uh, the base of the ears is they're so light mm -hmm. um, that they, and they're, they're not tight. Like I just, I, they're really, really comfortable. So we are going to link in the uh, description down below a link to where we buy these ears. Yes. Um, there are a lot of different people who do ears different way. 
for Sherry, she looked at a lot of different things, tried to look for a lot of different ears. These are more expensive, but like they're just really great quality. They're really comfortable. I literally like will walk around the house with them on and, it's for true. and forget that I have them on. And so, he'll, he'll come home and be like, oh. So we're wearing, we're wearing ears today. <laughs> um, and they don't give you headaches, which some nope. Disney ears do sometimes. Right. This is a weird thing, but I can wear my, my cartilage piercing with these ears and I cannot with the Disney ears. I <laughs> had no clue that was a thing. Um, right. Now I have a question for you. Uh -huh. You, for the last year, have not really been in the Etsy ear making mode or mindset. Right. Did doing this project help that? Like, how did this do for your Etsy creativity? This did kind of put another fire in me to want to get back into it because it is just so much fun. Yeah. Um, I did make, uh, over the weekend, I made four pairs of ears for um, special orders for friends uh, for Christmas. And so that kind of like sparked it. And then this like creating a new pair, a new design was so much fun for me. I love them so much. Like they are like, <laughs> you guys, they are just so good. Look at them. Sherry Beth, you did great. Thank you. Friends, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was fun. Um, again, I thanks to Auburn for the idea. Yes. Um, this was such a great idea. And it's not actually something that I would have thought of because I, I guess I just think like so many of my ears are really complicated mm -hmm. and I have to use a cricket for them. Um, and so kind of making myself think outside the box and think back to, okay, how do I make a pair of ears if I don't have... Yeah. All of my tools. If I have a pair of scissors and a Sharpie, what do I do? That's true. A pair of ears <laughs> with one trip to Michael's. Like, right. <laughs> totally. So, ton of fun. Friends, we love you guys so much. Want to know in the comments below, um, what'd you think? Do you like them? Didn't she kill it? Would you buy them? <laughs> Would you if buy Sherry them? made a thousand of these pairs next Christmas. <laughs> friends, we love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us on another Vlogmas video. And we will see you tomorrow with yet one more Leg Life Vlogmas video. We love you, friends. Bye. Bye.